Hey guys, welcome to Life of PNK. Car is behind me. Another video from my garage, as always. I decided to purchase the, and I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly, but the Veris Engineering Turbo Heat Shield. It's not really a turbo blanket, it's a heat shield. And I decided to purchase it because they make it for the Supra, and I'm very confident that actually it will work on this car. There's two options from it. There's a two port and a six port one. I think the two port is pre-LCI and the six port is actually for the LCI model. So 22, 22 and plus. So I went with the six port. We'll see if it fits. I have to actually get access to it. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's right in here. So I have to cover the turbo. And obviously you guys know I have the CPM bar. So I think, or the CPM plate. So I think I'll have to take that off. To have access because otherwise i don't see i don't think my hands are this little it, it has to slide on here but i'll take this off so we have some space but first let me show you what's in the box and then i'll talk about why i decided to go with this or i'm experimenting with this so from the box you can see the actual it's really nicely made the various engineering uh like let's say not blanket but cover for the turbo and then they have some more stuff here like some stickers and the actual like hardware and then this little piece so from the hardware we have these like spacers or washers whatever you want to call them we have two for the two bolts uh we have the actual main two bolts and these these little guys are to connect this side piece so the first thing i'm going to do is try to build this together so connect the side piece to here and then I'm going to remove the CPM plate to give me some space to work in. Uh, so let's get this going. And the first thing we have to figure out is how to put this together. I don't think it's going to go like this. As I said, there's no instructions in the box, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go like this with the washer and the bolt. Very simple. You need a, an H4 and it works. It works perfect for these guys. So I'm going to do this. Here's all the stuff, you got, grab a washer, you grab your bolt, and actually I'm not going to use this yet, uh, because I think I, can, I just need to tighten this by hand. So as I said, let's try to connect this together. So I'm going to try to put this one in there and align these two. One here, and then two more here. Okay, so I think this is, this, these are the only places I can see this. So yeah, they, they do give you an extra bolt and, and a washer. I, I did lose the washer, actually, it's somewhere here. Um, so I'm gonna tighten these up. And then the last thing is we have these two bolts where we're gonna use the, the spacer um, and, and the bolts and just tie it to, to the car. But yeah, just very simple. Not even, I don't think you even need a tool. Just use your hex socket and you don't really need to tighten these up too much there's no point really just as long as you know it fits properly and by the way you might notice that i'm a little bit scratched here and there this is actually a blemished item that i i got from them i i got in touch with them i wanted to make sure it fits and they weren't sure if it fits so we decided to settle on a blemished item so this has scratches here and there don't expect this to come like that from them. It's, you're going to get a brand new item. Uh, but I want to try one that's like blemished, uh, which is fine because I was able to get a little bit of a discount. Uh, and you can see it's a little bit bent here as well. It's not super straight, which is okay. I think it's going to fit fine. Uh, but I just want to say that to you guys in case, you know, you have any questions about that. So I think this is tight. Yeah, I think we should be good. I don't need to use the tool. So this is... This is basically a finished product. I think it looks pretty cool. So we'll put it aside here and then let's make some space inside the car. So another thing I wanted to mention to you guys is why why did I want to get like a turbo cover plate or a turbo blanket as you want to call it in back uh, back in the old times. The It's very important for me because my intake is open. You can see it's wide open. So there's a lot of heat that gets here. I'm working on a cover. I just haven't come up with any idea set. I do have something maybe that's gonna work, but we'll see about that. So obviously the intake is, is getting some of the heat from the engine um, and then the turbo is open. So it keeps generating the heat. Also, it's really nice to keep the turbo covered and, and get as much heat as possible inside the turbo, which will lead to faster spool time. This is not a full blanket. It's just a heat shield. So it's gonna reflect some of the heat. Maybe it will keep the turbo a little bit more warm 
uh, which will increase the spool time, uh, but it's not, I don't think this is gonna work the same way as a turbo blanket, but also it will help. Uh, and it will actually looks neat in the engine too. I'll take some pictures, I'll post them once it's done. But it will look really nice, I think, once installed. And it should deflect some of the heat going from the turbo. It should deflect it down towards the downpipe area, which is good for, for a purpose. Uh, it will provide also maybe a little bit less heat to the intake. I'm not sure if actually that's the case, but we won't know until I have a proper tune and I can actually get the intake temperatures uh, and, and, and test it, to be honest. Remove it, move it, whatever. Um, so let, let me clear the engine bay and I'll be right back. Now that the engine bay is clear, what I'm gonna try to do is not actually remove the intake. I don't wanna deal with it. It's, it's a little bit of extra work that if I can fit the actual heat shield there without an issue, without removing this piece, it'll be great. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But basically it goes, there's a bolt here, there's a bolt here. I believe the size is 13 millimeters, you can see. And I wish I had like a shorter socket, but I couldn't find my 13 millimeter shorter socket. I know, typically it's a 10 millimeter. Um, but I'm gonna remove these two bolts, which this is kind of like a heat shield that's keeping in place. Uh, I'm gonna remove these two bolts and try to put in uh, the various heat shield on as well. So basically we'll just add on to this with the spacer. It should work. I know I said I wasn't gonna remove the intake, but I figure it's a lot more easier and gives me a lot more space just to remove the whole intake box uh, with the filter and everything else. And you can see I have super easy access to the turbo now. So again, here are the two bolts. One here, one there. Uh, one thing to note is I had to jerry-rig these spacers and this is not looking too good. But I had to jerry-rig them because if this, if you lose this, if it falls somewhere and you can't get it, the spacer, I think they charge like five bucks on their website to, to get the, the little spacer. So I think you gotta be kind of careful. I use some tape. I think it should be good enough. As long as it holds it in place. And then for these bolts, it's actually a, uh, let me see. It's actually a, an H5 hex socket. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try to do is put this in there and use just by hand, try to tighten this up. It should be okay. But I do need, again, both my hands. Again, one bolt here, one bolt back there. You do need these spacers. It's a pretty simple job, to be honest. Anyone can do it. You just need space and not, not to lose those spacers. That's about it. The jerry rig really worked with the tape. One advice I'll have is don't tighten it. Remove the tape first once it's it's secure. Remove the tape so it doesn't like you know remain on the actual thread. Uh, and this is what it looks like. Pretty nice, actually. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, this is, has plenty of space here which I have to verify because right now it's kind of sitting on the wastegate, the, the rod, like the, the, the rod of the wastegate. But I think once I tighten it, it shouldn't be touching there. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove the tape, clean up the stuff, tighten it up, and I'll be right back. Here it is. I think it actually looks really good. There's plenty of space between the wastegate, little rod or arm, whatever you wanna call it. There is enough space here. Uh, you can see where the, the wires are. Perfectly designed fits like a glove. Honestly, no problems whatsoever with the six port. So again, I believe the six port is LCI and up, so 2022 and up. And I believe the two port, I might be wrong here because I haven't tested, there's no way for me to test that, but I believe the two port would fit uh, like 2018, 2019, 2020, 2020, whatever, up to, to the LCI model. It will fit that, but this one, no problem, perfect fit. And you can see it covers the whole turbo. So the turbo basically now is enclosed into this heat shield here, and it has its own heat shield here, and that's it. So all the heat should technically go towards the downpipe. So then when I add in the intake, you guys would see the final product. So it kind of removes a lot of the heat that the turbo generates. How much would that help? I'm not sure again. So let me put everything together and I'll be back with my final thoughts of the product, which I think it's actually really good. Super easy install, as you guys could tell in the video. Here it is. It's starting to get dark outside, so I'm not sure how well you can see it. But I think the engine bay is starting to look really nice. The custom intake, not really custom, but specific parts that work together. The CPM brace looks phenomenal. I think it looks really good. It's not the taste of everyone, but to me it looks phenomenal and the various turbo heat shield right there just peaking the engine is basically all like kind of like black dollar that's what it's becoming you see the filter is black everything is just black and i think overall when you step back it looks pretty nice actually i think overall very nice product the fitment was right on point so again you got to make sure you get the right one six or two port depending on your car 
LCI, so 2022 and up. Guess the six port. Uh, this is the one I had. It fit like a glove, no issues. The spacers, just gotta be careful not to drop them. So put like tape or something to keep them in space while you're like mounting the, the bolts. Super easy. The installation takes a couple minutes, honestly. <laughs> you, you spend more time actually removing the filter, clearing the way to get to it. The installation is super easy. You remove the factory bolt to replace with the hardware they provide. Done deal. Would it really work? For my purpose, it might provide a little bit of improvement because again, this is open and this is gonna deflect some of the heat from the turbo. So this is always a plus. Keeping this area cooler always makes sense. So this, this is why I got this specific item. I can only say positive thing about Varus. I, I, got in, uh, I got in touch with them on Instagram. They were willing to work with me. Uh, I spoke with, uh, with RJ, who's the, one of their sales rep. He was able to guide me. At first he thought it was a two port. We did some research, I sent some measurements. We came down to the six port. Easy shipping, I got it within a couple days after I paid and they shipped it. Super nice, fit well good finish good quality looks really nice i believe you can get the black one that i have and a silver one uh it's on their website hopefully it prevents some of the heat from the turbo going to closer to the intake keeps the temperatures cooler which would just benefit and also keeping the turbo warmer means faster spooling times which is always good with that being said thank you guys for watching i appreciate you giving me again some of your time and i'll see you guys later bye